waiting for this moment for a long, long time. A major milestone for our own Aisha Khan as she joins us in the Fox 5 studio for the first time in almost eight months. Aisha, I cannot believe we're sitting next to you. You look incredible. Your energy. I mean, I can't I can't wait till you tell people everything you've been doing through the last eight months because it's been a yeah. long time. Yeah. But you're back with us. Mm. We'd love to see you. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, I, I will say it's been um it's been quite the journey. Um I still got a little bit ways to go. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, like last Thursday we got to celebrate me uh marking uh my end of chemo, um, April twenty first to be exact. I was uh, surrounded by my family and my friends in the celebration and this as you know has been um, part of the series. This is part four of the series, uh, Cancer Fight Over Fear. So something I'm very, you know, I've been sharing with our viewers very openly. And, and it's very important that you have been doing that yeah. because so many people I know have reached out and we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. We saw you last week ring the bell yes. after 16 <laughs> sessions of intense chemotherapy. Uh, let's look back and see everything yeah. that has been happening. Take a look. Really loud, yeah. yeah. This is the very sound I have waited five long months to make and to hear. Oh, my God. I did. My family, some close friends, and an awesome team of nurses and doctors surrounded me on April 21st, cheering me on as I rang the bell to mark the end of 16 rounds of chemo. The celebration at the Aquilino Cancer Center in Montgomery County was oh definitely one for the books. Is now, this is my official reality now that I am officially done. I can't believe I made it this far. Oh. I went through the lowest of the lows, but also highest of the highs. And joining us live is Fox 5's Aisha Khan. Aisha, oh my goodness, you look stunning. Welcome back on air. I did my first live shot in nearly eight months from a charity event supporting breast cancer awareness. And Aisha, it's wonderful to see you. And the icing on the cake was a shout out from the first lady for whom breast cancer is personal. Like I keep replaying it in my head. Like what an epic, magical night that was. While one of the most trying challenges of my experience with breast cancer is over, the treatment isn't. Radiation is just, you know, targeting, it's targeted therapy on where the cancer was, and I'll be doing this every day for pretty much the whole summer. In the meantime, I'm soaking in the milestones as they come, reminding myself to never disconnect and to stay in the present. This was a struggle, no doubt. But I also think about if I hadn't gone through this struggle, how would I know or how would I reach my strength? One more time? Okay. Keep going for all those things. <laughs> awesome. You could not have rung that enough and loud and we... Uh... I'm gonna been cry. <laughs> quite, quite some time. I remember seeing you in the middle of treatment. We went out to lunch yeah. and, and even from then, it's been so long yeah. and it feels like you are already on such an amazing road to recovery. Oh my God, my makeup's gonna ruin it. <laughs> no, you look beautiful. By the way, if you want to share uh, your support, your love for Aisha, <laughs> use the hashtag Fox5DC. Yes, yes. Our viewers have been incredible. I went out, Aisha has not stopped teaching spin classes <laughs> no, through all of this, which is insane. We, Angie and I went out to a class last weekend. Our viewers who are incredible, they came out because they wanted to celebrate yes, and see you. Yes. Uh, you took us back behind the scenes back in February and the response has been incredible. Look at these, all these gifts I've been getting, all these get well soon cards I've been getting from our viewers, from our Fox 5 family, from the community. I mean, it's been overwhelming in such a great way. That's my family right there. We celebrated last Sunday after the spin class, by the way. Um, <laughs> Look so at you, that was them. That was, that was them right there. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's been, you know, I've gotten a lot of messages too from our viewers um, about not only going out there to get themselves checked, especially women my age, um, you know, older, younger, um, talking about admittingly saying that they you know had been putting this off for a while um, and but they are going out there to get their mammograms done um, and like I said they they have been putting this off but uh, they said they were they are definitely being more vigilant about it after seeing my story um, and the other thing I do want to mention is that, like I said the tremendous outpouring of love and encouragement you know I've received from the community especially my Fox 5 family <laughs> even one of our managers actually he came by and dropped oh. off so much food for the family so, so we had food for days but it's been incredible. Um, but again, I cannot drive home the message of be vigilant, be your own best advocate when it comes to your health. Yeah, and catching this early, this disease yeah. is something that I think a lot of people think, oh, if my grandparents had it, or and sometimes there is a family lineage, but yeah. so many women that we talk to, like you said, doesn't matter the age. No. 
Just get checked. Yeah, exactly. But you are incredible. Thank you. And we cannot wait to see you back here again you, and, and full you. work mode. I appreciate Aisha that. Aisha still has a little to go, but, yeah. but this is definitely one of the hardest parts of this journey. And, yeah. and you're on the it's other side over. of it. So yeah. we're thank so happy you. to have you thank back. Thank you, Marina. Appreciate that.